Shalom. There are some Christians out there that say, we don't have to go by the Torah anymore. We don't have to go by the law anymore because we're not under the old covenant. We are under the new covenant. We're in the New Testament. We're not under the Old Testament. Therefore, we don't go by the Torah anymore. The problem is these people equate in their mind, they, they equate Old Testament with law or Torah. They think the Old Testament is the Torah and the Torah is the Old Testament. There are two big problems with this whole way of looking at it. There are two big problems with their point of view. Number one is they do not understand or they have never thought about the fact that just because a group of books are put together in a group and labeled as Old Covenant or Old Testament doesn't mean that the Old Testament is basically a group of books. It doesn't mean that everything in those, in those books are of the Old Testament, okay? It doesn't even mean that the Old Testament includes all the, the books that they put in it, okay? What you need to understand is that it wasn't a prophet, it wasn't the Lord, it wasn't God, it wasn't a priest, that it wasn't even a Bible publisher for that matter that said that God ever told them to put X number of books in this particular book, that particular book, this particular book, a whole list of books, and to put it all together in one category and label it as Old Testament. Never, 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 never. God didn't do that. That was the work of man. That was the work of Bible publishers that just decided to just lump all of these books in one category and call them Old Testament. Okay? The second problem with that way of looking at it is that these people do not even know what a testament is or a covenant is. They do not understand there's a big difference, a huge difference, between a covenant and a law between testament and Torah, okay? Two completely different entities, okay? Let's just step back for a second to the first point that I made that the Old Testament, lumping a whole bunch of books together and calling it Old Testament is the work of Bible publishers, not the work of God, okay? These particular people, a lot of these Christians, if not most, if not all of these Christians, pastors, bishops, priests, whatever included, they all would tell you, they all believe that uh, the model church is the New Testament church, especially the church that we see and read about in the book of Acts. Okay, A lot of these people proclaim to be a church that is similar to, if not identical to the church in the book of Acts. Let me point out something to you here. The church in the book of Acts had as their scriptures what we would, what Christians today call the Old Testament. And also, may I add the Apocrypha as well, as it is included in the Septuagint, which they did have back then. But, the point is this, the New Testament books they did not have. They preached all of their messages. They preached the entire gospel from what the church calls today, what Christians call today, the Old Testament. They didn't call it the Old Testament back then. They understood what a testament really is and what a covenant really is. And they understood that there are many covenants outlined from Genesis until the coming of the Messiah, until the coming of Yeshua, Jesus. They understood there were many covenants. That's why Paul said in his letter, you know, to the Jewish people belongs the covenants, plural. There are many covenants that existed before the arrival of Messiah on the scene in the flesh. Okay? Many covenants. So, 
that brings me back to the second point is is that a lot of people do not understand what a covenant really is or a testament really is. They don't understand the difference between a law and a testament, okay? Let me put it this way, and this is the best way to explain it. Most of you who are watching this, you, you live in a country where you can write out a will. Um, a lot of times that's called a last will and testament, and that is a, a document that's written out uh, detailing what you want done with your possessions when you die, okay? It's called a, a will, a testament. A lot of people use the word will and testament together. I mean, synony it's synonymous, interchangeably, okay? So the word will and testament mean the same thing. So when you, let's say, for example, you choose to sit down and write out a will, Okay, now, does that mean that the law of the land, that the law in your country gets abolished when you write that will out? Because guess what? It's a new will. It's a New Testament. So all of the law is abolished pre uh, pre uh, previous to your testament. When you sit down and you write a New Testament, a new will, a will, last will and testament, when you write one, does that mean that everybody's testaments, everybody's wills, everybody's wills before yours, your neighbors, your parents, your grandparents, your friends, they all get abolished. They all get overridden because you wrote your will. You wrote a new will, a new testament, which completely overrides and replaces all other wills and testaments. Of course, any of you, okay, I, I assume that all of you that listen to this video or watching this video would, would say that no, writing a will doesn't negate your neighbor's will, doesn't negate your friend's will, doesn't override, over, you know, abolish, replace anybody's will. It's your will. It's your testament, okay? Between you and between those that, you know, you have put in charge of, of your possessions. So, writing in a will, writing a testament, doesn't override any of the laws of your country, any of the laws of your county or jurisdiction, just because you write a, a new will or a new testament. It's absurd to even say that. The laws of the land rule over your testaments, okay? Two totally different entities. You know, you can take your will, you can take your testament and throw it in the trash. Does that mean that all of the laws in the country are thrown in the trash? Absolutely not. They're two completely different entities. It's the same way with God. When he makes a new covenant with somebody, when he makes a testament with somebody, he doesn't override anybody else's testament, anybody else's will that he's ever made with anybody else in the past. No, not at all. Okay? The word covenant in the Hebrew is brit or brit. The word law in the Hebrew is Torah. Two totally different entities. Just as the laws of your land rule over, is more powerful, is, is over the testament you might write, so God's law, his Torah, is over any testament, any covenant that he may make with anybody. Okay? And as a little rabbit trail, let me just interject here that the new covenant or the New Testament, he says, is made with Israel and Judah. He doesn't say he makes it with the Christians, with the, with the assemblies of God, with the Pentecostals, with the Baptists, with the Catholics, with, the, with, the, with anybody. He, just say, he makes it with, you, with Israel and with Judah. Okay? That's just a little rabbit trail. Okay? Um, but the, my point here is, you need to understand what covenant is. You need to understand what testament is. You need to understand that it's not law. 
The Torah existed long before the books of Moses were written. The Torah existed. That's why Abel did his sacrifices and was able to obey the Torah as he knew how. Because the Torah existed. Same with Noah. Same with Abraham. Okay? They did all that stuff because the Torah existed. It's the same. It's an eternal Torah. It existed long before it was written by anybody. And it will exist long before everybody's gone. Or long after everybody's gone. Okay? So, covenant and law, two totally different things. Testament and law, two totally different things. Don't let anybody tell you that we are not under... That we are not going by the law anymore. Because now we are in a New Testament. We are in a new law, not an Old Testament with an old law. They have no clue what they're talking about. Testament has nothing to do with law. Testament has nothing to do with law. Okay, Testament is, 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 is subject to the law. You need to understand that. Just food for thought. So thanks again for watching, and don't forget, if you like this video, check out my other videos. I'm sure you'll love them, and also check out my blog at ChristopherEnoch.org. Thank you.